Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Utwani once again from LearnHyperDimension.com. Today in this video, we'll talk about how you can run your Selenium test in incognito mode. Now, the moment you start working with Selenium browser, every time you start a new session, you will be getting a new profile. So when I say new profile, you will not be getting any browser cookies, you will not be getting any extensions, plus no any predefined settings. So it's more or less like an incognito window, but there are few scenarios which only runs an incognito window. So by default, your Selenium test will not be run in, in incognito window. So in order to start, you need to add one argument that I will show you now. So let me show you first how to run your test in incognito window without any library. Then I will talk about that in case if you have existing framework, how you can run the same test in any incognito window. Yeah, it's quite easy. So let me show you. I just created a dummy project. I'm using at the time of recording 4.8.3. The latest one is 4.9.0. So maybe I will quickly update this. Even if you don't update, it will remain same for previous versions as well. Now I will create a dedicated package. Uh, let's say this is my Chrome options. Okay, because in order to do this, we will be using something called Chrome options. Now I will create a new class. I will say test in incognito. And again, guys, I'm using public static void main because I'm not using any test framework, but let's say you're using JUnit or testng. The concept will remain same for you. Instead of using a main method, you will be using at the rate test annotation. Now let's create a browser session. So when you say web driver, okay, it's still building, I guess. So once the building is done, now let's type again, web driver, driver equal to new Chrome driver. Now notice here, the moment you create your first uh, web driver session, you can see the multiple constructors, right? So first one is the default constructor that uh, if you don't pass anything, it will start a default uh, constructor. And in that default constructor, you will be getting the fresh profile, the fresh Chrome driver service. But let's say now you want to make some changes. You want to pass it in options. So if you see the third constructor, this constructor will ask you Chrome options. So basically Chrome options is a dedicated class that we are going to use today. And I will be passing one add arguments and depends on what argument you will pass. It will start your session according to that argument. So in order to do this, we need to create object of Chrome driver, sorry, uh, Chrome options. So Chrome options is a dedicated class, which will manage anything that you need in order to change related to Chrome. So they have given a couple of examples that you want to add extension, you want to add binaries. Okay. You want to add any additional argument. You can do that. So I'm going to create object of this class, which is Chrome options. And once object is ready, now I will be using one method called add arguments. Now you will get basically two methods. The first method that you see is add argument. It says you can pass list of string as an argument. Suppose you want to change multiple options or you want to add multiple options. You can add all these arguments as a list and you can pass as a list. Or second option is you can pass string as a variable length argument. Can you see string dot dot dot? Since this dot 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 is represent varex in Java. So if I completely new to Java, then I would recommend you to watch my uh, previous playlist. Now here I can add single argument uh, multiple arguments depends how many arguments you want to pass now which argument we need to pass here that is the question for this I want to show you one uh, document so if I open selenium official documentation go to download section and once you come here you will see the browser section now I want to run my chrome in incognito so I will be heading to chrome section I will click on the documentation and just search for capabilities and chrome options here you can take the different advantages of Chrome options. Right now, I will just go ahead and you can see this arguments, right? List of strings that is supported here. And they are given a couple of examples. List of command line arguments to use when you are starting a Chrome. For example, you want to pass the start maximize user data directory. And here is the complete list of Chrome argument that you can pass. Uh, I'm going to show you the complete list, but after this video, you can just remember whatever argument I'm using. You can use the same argument and it will work for sure. So just search for incognito and you can see we have one argument called hyphen hyphen incognito. It forces incognito mode even if uh, user data directory specified using 
hyphen hyphen user hyphen data directory switch so basically just take this argument and pass here that's all you need to do once you're done this is the opt object that you can pass here and we're good to go so let me show you when you don't pass what happens uh, let me open any session doesn't matter because this is a browser specific not application specific i'm using google.com but you can continue with your own application now let me run this and show you so i will click on this right now even though we created incognito but i'm not passing it i want to show you what is the difference it will make when you don't pass so you can see this is a fresh session it's running in a normal mode not in incognito and once the page will load it will continue so it's not an incognito window now in order to get this effect whatever options we have created i will pass here so we have to pass within this constructor and it's running let me close this and this time if i run you will see the test will be running in incognito window and you will be able to see here yes it's taking some time and yeah it's running the test in incognito as you can see here so very easy approach right chrome options object you have to create add an argument called hyphen hyphen incognito and you can continue now this is when we are using normal project when i say normal project i'm not using any library but suppose if you have already existing framework and you want to add this argument so suppose you have a method which accepts the browser as an argument and it says if browser equal to chrome do this if browser equal to firefox do this so in that library before starting the chrome session just create object of chrome options and add as an argument and suppose if chrome options is already available then you just need to add this argument and you're good to go now before we end the video i want to give you one bonus tip so right now i added one argument right now let's say i want to add one more argument so again if i go here and if you just search for maximize okay this is the list and i will be giving you this link in the description let me search for maximized yeah so you will get one argument that you can use called hyphen hyphen start maximize now this is alternative already we have a maximize method in selenium so if you say driver dot manage dot windows dot maximize it will maximize your browser but suppose you don't want to use that method you want to start browser in a maximize mode without using this maximize function or method you can use this argument so i can copy this start maximized and now i can do options either i can add one more time here opt dot add argument okay like this it will work otherwise if you notice this add argument accepts variable length argument can you see string dot 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 it means you can pass single argument or multiple arguments so i can give a comma here because they all are strings so this is the first string after comma i will give another string start maximize so this time my session will start with incognito window and in a maximize mode so execute this and you will see the same result incognito but with maximize because this is additional argument so this is how you can run your test in incognito window i showed you one method which accepts string as a variable length argument but there's one more method available if you want to use it so let me show you that as well because you might use the second one option so in order to use the second approach what you can do you can say opt dot add arguments so this example which i showed you just now we use string as a variable length argument this time i can use list of string now how do you create list of string again multiple ways to create i'm going to use a very easy approach called arrays dot as list now just a small disclaimer that in case if you are new to java then you might not understand this because this includes collection now so list is a part of collection so i would recommend again to watch the collection topics which will give you brief idea what is list what is set i'm going to use one class called arrays class and in arrays class we have one method called as list so you can see this method as list and now i can pass multiple string argument here so let's do that this will be my first argument i will add one more argument and we are done so basically i will pass this and in the second argument i will pass this so this is string as a variable length argument this is i'm creating a list of string using arrays class using a as list method and this will return me list of string that i'm going to pass here so let me comment this or maybe i will do one thing better i will create one more file so that i can share this examples with all of you so first one is in this way and the second one is using list of string here i will comment this particular portion 
okay so now let's run this eventually the result will be same but it's just another way to add arguments so here the tests are running and uh, yeah it's running in an incognito mode and maximize mode now if you don't understand this part let me break down this into two statements so that you can understand what is happening so this is the third example i created what is happening behind the scene that the moment you say arrays dot as list if you put mouse over you will be getting list of string so basically it depends if you pass all numbers like say all integers you will be getting list of integers if you pass all booleans you will get list of booleans in arrays dot as list if you pass all values as double you will get list of doubles in this case we are passing everything as a string so we are getting list of string so i will be storing this in a list of string and i will say this is arguments now i need to import this list list is coming from java.util and i will pass this argument so now i'm storing this into a variable and then i'm passing in the previous example i was directly passing it so that's how you can run your test in incognito window now in case if you like this video please share this with your friends colleagues those who are working with selenium in case if you need video on a specific topic let me know in the comment section and in case if you haven't subscribed this channel then make sure you subscribe this channel and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care